Um, unless Leonel you know, does something silly like go for battle cruisers, I don't really see I don't really see mind control being that useful. And feedback I guess it works on science vessels. And Maelstorm could be nice in combination with storms, except that Terran's army is already extremely immobile and isn't gonna be dodging storms in the first place. So not really sure why he's going for that DT there. Uh, he does have an Arbiter, which is going to make it a little bit harder for Leonel to engage his army on the move, just because uh, the Arbiter is going to make everything invisible. And Leonel doesn't really have mobile anti-air at this point. I don't see any Goliaths. Uh, he doesn't have an Armory, so he can just produce them at any time. But I don't think he is. Both players are grabbing the third, with Crown Royal just warping into Nexus, and Leonel doing the manly Terran thing and hiding the command center in his main until he is ready to move it out. Which is very intelligent. Um, the scout is going to try to do some more harass, but uh, Leonel does indeed have Goliaths, and I'm completely wrong. And the scout is just going to get pushed back. Still one kill on it. Still uh, very red HP. Still not really doing anything except uh, confusing everybody in the game at this point. And more troops still being pumped out by Crown Royal here. He's got another Arbiter on the way. He only has the one Dark Archon, so at least he's not at least he's not spamming anything silly. The scout is still toying around with Leonel's army down here. I am impressed that he's kept it alive this long. A whole bunch of mines coming up. I don't see a robotics facility from Crown Royal, so I don't think he has observers. So those mines are going to do a colossal, colossal amount of damage uh, when Crown Royal starts moving some units over them, which he is not going to do because he's just defending his third right now. Leonel is lifting this command center and actually going to take his third at the exact same time. So nothing fancy going on here. There are no missile turrets up in this uh, region in the top of Leonel's main, so he is very vulnerable to a recall, actually. Uh, we're going to see if Crown Royal manages to spot this and manages to make any sort of advance along that. More missile turrets coming up from Leonel in the front, just in case of more air or more DTs. And I believe that is the second Arbiter. Yes, there are two Arbiters out for Crown Royal right now. He's got... He's actually beating Leonel on food by a fairly large amount, but Leonel is mech, so in any sort of confrontation right now, assuming Leonel has some time to dig in, uh, Crown Royal's army is just going to massively evaporate unless he gets off some really nice recalls or stasises or casting with those arbiters. Or I guess I, he could do something useful with the Dark Archive potentially that I'm just not thinking of right now. Still only has that one scout, still has no observers. I would, if I were him, I would honestly be worrying about mines and observers and stuff. But neither player is really moving up, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And there's this whole, whole big region of the map over here where either of them could expand if this c game continues to drag on with this complete lack of aggression. Plus one upgrades on those tanks. And the armory is not spinning, the armory is not researching any more upgrades. Uh, whereas Crown Royal has zero upgrades on anything, that SEV is going to get taken up by a whole bunch of invisible dragoons without really revealing anything other than the fact that Crown Royal does indeed have an Arbiter. And it looks like uh, both players are sending out a couple of units, SEVs, and uh, probes to scout all of these expansions on this half of the map probably just to make sure that the opponent hasn't expanded more than to actually expand themselves. Could be wrong about that. It does look like Cran Royal is in a position where he could expand fairly easily, but he is not doing so, uh, and that probe is going to get seen, and there is a missile turret going up right about where he would want to put his nexus. And I am completely missing a drop going on while I'm saying that. It looks like Cran Royal has recalled in a whole bunch of Dragoons and Zealots, and he's doing some massive damage to the SCV and supply depots, mostly the supply depots, but he's doing a little bit of damage to the SCVs of Leonel as that goes on. Leonel is at 129 out of 86 supply. He's in a massive deficit right now because he's completely, completely out of supply depots because of all that damage that just went on. Um, I'm looking for the Dark Archon. I can't find it. There it is. Dark Archon uh, is not actually in that battle. So... He's not going to be able to contribute any of these completely useless spells. All of those supply depots got taken down, though. That was a very, very good move by Crown Royal right there. And recalling out all of those, most of those Dragoons. Uh, so a lot of them are just going to be able to just run away from these tanks. This Arbiter is going to make it out fine, and this last Dragoon is going to be kicked off by Vultures and Tanks as we speak. Uh, this Dark Archon just ran up to a Missile Turret, and it looks like he's going to try to take on a Missile Turret with the Dark Archon. Good job. Um, 
in the meantime, there's still not a whole lot of anything really going on for either player. Crown Royal has put himself back in a kind of decent position by knocking out all of the supply depots, just because it's going to be quite some time before Lionel can actually start producing units, and he is massively floating both minerals and gas, whereas Crown Royal is actually very, very macroing very, very well. He's at 185 food, and it does look like he's... it does... holy crap, I missed something. Um... So, do you guys remember that uh, SCV that was up here digging around with that missile turret? It looks like uh, Crown Royal just mind-controlled an SCV, and he is building a command center of his own. Looks like he's uh, dual racing in the race wars. I'm not really sure if that's allowed. He's kind of batting for both teams. But that is an amazing move, considering he's food capped right now. He's got a very nice economy, so he's going to play this like a fastest map or something. And, and just be absolutely silly and climb up two tech trees at the same time. And it looks like he's got the, the economy to do that right now. In the meantime, Lionel is grabbing a fourth at the... whatever o'clock that is, like 7.30. No, not 7.30. 8... 8 o'clock spawn. And he has finally managed to spend all of his minerals, probably on supply depots, so that he can back her back up. And we're going to see how that works out for him. He does have a very large mech army, to uh, Crown Royals, mostly just Dragoons and Zealots and Arbiters, and that's going to be an interesting engagement. Again, it's going to come down to Arbiter Micro and tank placement, and oh my gosh, <laughs> we've got an extra little food coming up here because the Command Center just finished for Crown Royal right now. It does not look like Lionel knows what's going on, but he is going to come up with this SCV and get a very nice scout on this right now. Yes, Lionel does indeed know that Crown Royal is building a barracks. Good job. Uh, it's a little bit late for him to do anything about it, though. We're going to see if he attacks that. It does look like Crown Royal is going to defend this pretty fiercely. He is very enamored of his Terran tech, and he wants to keep a nice hold on it. This is also going to be able to serve for a fourth, because Crown Royal can just mine off of this. I mean, there's no reason that a command center doesn't function the same as a command center. It does look like he's manarding up a whole bunch of probes, and he's no longer mining in his main. I wonder why. This scout is actually finally getting a little bit of usefulness, picking out a uh, scouting SCV right here. And I wonder if Crown Rail knows about this fourth right here. I, uh, I'm, I'm sure he knows that his opponent is expanding. Big battle going on. It looks like Lionel is pushing up with a whole bunch of uh, vultures and tanks and goliaths. It does look like he has already managed to mine all of these tanks of siege, so it's going to be very hard for Crown Royal to push back out without some nice recalls. On the other hand, there aren't a whole bunch of goliaths, so those are going to be really, really easy to get off. Arbiters are just going to be able to do whatever uh, he wants. And Stace is coming off. Another Stace is coming off. It looks like about half of Crown Royal's army is covered in Stasis. Another Stace is coming off. Holy crap. This is like ice cubes everywhere. This is, uh, it looks like half of Crown Royal's army is still getting knocked out by the other half of Leonel's army. The half that is not frozen. Half of it, though, is just sitting here in these little hexagon things, not being able to do anything. And it's very, very difficult for Lionel to engage. He has to keep keep wasting scans to see these units under these Arbiters. He's got so little anti-air, too. Well, it's like this Arbiter is finally going to start taking a little bit of damage from these Goliaths, but Crown Royal has done a very nice job of pushing past that massive, massive mech blob, and Lionel is beginning to slip behind a little bit in food because of it. Um, no, never mind, he's not. He is coming ahead. These units came out of stasis and it looks like they're just able to do a whole bunch of damage. This third for Crown Royal is going to get taken down by these tanks, it looks like. The tanks in the back moving up finally. And he doesn't really have a whole bunch of units. He's got a couple of High Templars, a single High Templar, a couple of Zealots being picked off by these Vultures right here. Uh, some interesting mine placement going on by Lunal right here. I need to stop saying right here. Some interesting mine placement going on by Lunal. These vultures against zealots are going to be so effective, and these mines are just going to absolutely, absolutely decimate the detectorless forces of Crown Royal right here. Uh, it does look like Crown Royal has successfully teched up the factories, though, so he's going to he's going to have a mech army of his own. So we're actually just going to go into mech versus mech, <laughs> which is awesome. This is incredibly, incredibly brilliant by Crown Royal, uh, recovering from his completely useless opening with with this. Totally, totally awesome sideswipe. He is down a base right now, but Lionel isn't mining off of his fourth, so I'm not really sure how much that matters. I would be very scared of this mech army. Uh, he, he did deal a fair amount of damage to it, but Lionel still has a lot of tanks.